God told you that because he knows that you'll be wise. And Eve went on, like some women are, curious, and ate the fruit. And it was good. And she gave it to Adam. Now, all of the information was given to Adam. But Adam went on and ate the fruit and became wise. And the very first thing, they were like the rest of the things that God made. They didn't even have any clothes on. They didn't need any clothes. And the first thing they did when they heard the voice of Christ, of God, they ran. And when they ran, they went into the bushes. And the voice of God said, Adam, where are you? And he came out and he said, I heard your voice. And we ran because we didn't have any clothes on. Well, then God did not feel as though Adam went according to his suggestions. And he said, you shall have to work the rest of your life to be able to live. And now you see, they didn't have to do anything but just eat. And man cannot live without having to work or somebody work for him. And he said to Eve about bearing children. And of course, the devil went on about his business. And the devil this day is still out there, still telling me and you and the rest of them, just, just do a little something. And we know it's wrong. So he's there, and that conscience that God has given us, don't touch it. You know it's wrong. Don't follow those people. You'll get in trouble. And a lot of folk have different conceptions of God. Even in the Bible, it says, He. Well, and when it says that, what does it mean about the women? But God is a spirit. Now, you can't see a spirit. I don't care what folks say about, I saw a ghost and whatnot. But a spirit, you cannot see. You can see the effects. You let the wind blow, and you see the leaves of the tree moving about. You see a can or a piece of paper or something that is being pushed. And when you do that, you say, it's the wind, but you can't see the wind. So that's the way God is. God is a spirit, and he that worships him, worships him in spirit and in truth. Now how do we worship him? Number one is love. If you were to, let's say, if you were to put these two words down, Good, G-O-O-D, is good, and it's related to doing good. Take the other, evil, and evil is against good. You have good and you have evil. All right, G-O-O-D. Take one of those O's out of G-O-O-D. What do you get? God. You get God. So God is good. And then evil. You got E-V-I-L. Suppose you take, you put an alphabet uh, into that. What do you get? Devil. Yes, you get a D. And that's D-E-V-I-L, devil. So the devil is strong. He's very strong. But we have our conscience that guide us and lead us. Now, I, I, I can't understand how is it many ministers don't talk about God. They don't talk about evil. They don't talk about good. And I'm just wondering, how are they guiding us? 
Because those two things don't ever become obsolete as long as human beings are on the face of the earth you will find that there is good and there is evil. And I would like to see them, of course, I guess they would run him out of the pulpit if he were to tell the truth, that you can live in hell right here on earth. You don't have to, you don't have to go to hell first. And you take, for instance, people who are dealing with drugs. They might start with a little bit and the worst mistake that we can make is the first, the very first mistake. And that is, sometimes your friend will say, ah, here's a cigarette, and it tastes good. It makes me feel good. Try it. And in many cases, many of these things they have now, you try it and you hook. You're hooked for life. I was talking to somebody the other day about a man who would work. They said he would work, but he goes to the crack house. I think it's a crack house. And uh, he takes his check and he helps all of his buddies by buying crack for them. And when he gets this crack, like all the rest of them, they feel good for a while. Or you can go to sleep and feel good during the night. So, to feel good for a while, it means that that crackle, and, and excuse me about the different kinds of, of drugs because I don't know them, but uh, it makes you feel good for a while, but in the meantime, and maybe you haven't seen it, it's a little rodent 